Welcome back to This Bites For You. One of the most important things when building a brand new machine is the motherboard. You might have questions like, will it work with this CPU today? How about that CPU tomorrow? Will it work with this much memory, this video card, this power supply? So many different factors. So it's important to select the right motherboard. In the budget build, I think we selected the perfect motherboard. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a brief overview, kind of brief, of the Asus ROG Strix B550-F Gaming Wi-Fi Edition motherboard. There is so much to cover on this motherboard. Let's get started now. All right, so here she is again, the Asus ROG Strix B550-F Gaming Wi-Fi. Here we can see the motherboard itself, ROG Strix B550 Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard, ROG. Then third gen AMD desktop ready, Ryzen AMD B550, AMD Crossfire, Aura Sync, PCIe 4.0, and game first. Along the side, nothing really. Over here, nothing really important. Over here, serial number, UPC, -dee -dee -dee, all those codes over here. Then along the back, just a lot of detail on the motherboard. But I'll talk you through it as we're opening it up. I love the way Asus does their packaging. All right, so let's go through these accessories first. we can get to them all right so this is the Wi-Fi antenna okay this is a Wi-Fi 6 802.11 AX Wi-Fi antenna and just want to see how long this cable is cables about three feet long then the antenna ace is there this will connect to the motherboard and then they have here the little stand it'll rest on we'll get back to that during the build itself and I'm going to lift the motherboard first out of the way to get to the rest of the accessories okay so they come with uh, any more? Okay. Four SATA six gigabit per second cable. So two of these are perfectly straight and they all have this metal clip to secure it into your motherboard. And then the other two have a bit of a right angle in case you want to maybe use it for an optical drive if anybody still uses those or a hard drive just to get it out of the way or an SSD, of course. Then we have over here an ARGB extension cable. This is also about three feet long. Okay. Then it looks like here they have uh, the M.2 SSDs, the pads. I'll keep these in the baggie for now, but we will use them in the build video. Then they have the M.2 screws. Looks like they have two screws here. I'll open this up. Okay, you can see that there. They have two screws and then standoffs. And then over here, they have seven zip ties so that you can keep your cables all nice and clean. And then, oh, before I get to the manual, this is nice. They have bunch of stickers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two cables or uh stickers sorry it's kind of nice stickers and then these are for your cables so you're properly labeled you know where the cable goes then they have this guy right over here 
Thank you for purchasing this ROG Strix product. You've made the choice of champions. To learn more about our passion for gaming and to receive news about the latest ROG innovations and offers, check out Armory Crate, our vibrant new one-stop information hub on the Microsoft Store. <laughs> All right. And then they have, oh, I didn't realize they had, but they have a CD with all the drivers. I don't recommend using this unless you don't have access to Wi-Fi or anything because all the drivers here are out of date the minute they're printed. And well, you also may not have a CD drive. They really should put them on thumb drives. But anyway, then they have here the Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi User Guide. So this is, while it is a manual and a lot of us don't like to read manuals, you probably shouldn't, <laughs> but and very, very important things that they have in here are error codes in case you get any beeps or anything along those lines. They have a QVL, which is more than likely online. That way you can see what memory is compatible with your motherboard. And then they have a ton of other things you want to look out for in case you're having issues with your motherboard. This is going to have it all. Or you can find it online on a PDF or something, but definitely RTFM. All right, so let's just put all this aside for right now and get to the meat of the unboxing. I don't want to lose any of those screws. All right. So I went for a budget board and while it is relatively budget it's not totally budget uh, awesome thing about this board is the io shield is integrated onto the back that way you can't forget to put it onto your case you build everything oh it looks great i forgot the io shield you got to take it all apart you don't have to worry about that anymore so that is a great feature all right, so starting off, this is utilizing the AM4 socket for Ryzen 5000, 4000, G series, and 3000 series processors. So yes, this will work on current gen CPUs and the CPUs that actually were just released. You may need to update the BIOS, but I'll show you all that in the build video afterwards. It has 12 plus two power stages. This is utilizing AMD's B550 chipset. The board supports DigiPlus power control for optimal system performance, efficiency, and stability. We can see along here, there is the eight pin EPS power and also a four pin power connector for the CPU. You don't need to use both. Just connect the eight pin and you'll be good. If you're going to be doing some overclocking, connect the eight pin and a four pin if you have one available. As you can see here, this does support four DDR4 DIMMs. Depending on your CPU, will also support ECC memory. It will support up to 128 gigs of DDR4, speeds up to 5,100 megahertz, overclocked, of course, depending on the CPU. We can see along the back over here. All right, so this does support an HDMI 2.1 port, and a 1.2 display port. And let me go ahead and take this off so it is less reflective. All right. So this does have two USB 2.0 ports, four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, type A, and then a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, type C, two USB 2.0 ports, one of which is the BIOS flashback, as well as the BIOS flashback button right over here, utilizing the Intel i225-V 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet adapter. For audio, they're using Rock Supreme FX audio. You can see here five audio jacks and one optical SPDIF out. And then along here are the Wi-Fi 6 connectors. You can see right down here, the Supreme FX chip. Now this is PCIe 4.0 compatible. Then you'll find right under this heatsink and right under this heatsink, two M.2 slots. The top one is a PCIe 4.0 by four socket. And the bottom one is a PCIe 3.0 by four socket. Then along here, 
we can see six SATA ports, six gigabit per second, supporting RAID 0, 1, and 10. Now, even though maybe not many people use it today, this will support two-way Crossfire X, and it also does include Bluetooth 5.1. Now we can see there are quite a few fan headers. There's two right over here, and then the CPU optional here, and then one for CPU. One of these is also for the AIO pump, or the all-in-one pump, and then another one right down here, and right down here. So you have quite a few cooling options on this board. Coming along the bottom of the board, we can see one front panel header, one Thunderbolt header, a 12 volt RGB header, a five volt RGB header, another fan header that I showed you earlier, two USB 2.0 headers, a chassis fan header I showed you earlier, and then your front IO header over here, power reset, all that good stuff there. Along the side of the board, we'll find a USB 3.0 header, as well as the 24 pin ATX connection. Towards the top of the board, we'll find a 12 volt RGB header. So the other features are a little bit more difficult to show you. I'm going to have to show you during the build process. But one thing to mention, this does have a six layer PCB. So yeah, I could have cheaped out a little bit more getting a slightly less expensive, maybe $100 less expensive motherboard but we wouldn't potentially have the opportunity to update the CPU as we are able to, and we wouldn't have a good foundation for the budget build. The motherboard is arguably one of the most important parts in a system. Check out this link above for the full build of the budget build, and there'll be a lot more on this coming soon. Iggy out. See you guys.